In the miniseries Lonesome Dove, Charles Goodnight was immortalized loosely as Captain W.F. Call, played by Tommy Lee Jones. In truth, Goodnight became a Texas Ranger at the age of 21. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting video. They recruited him because he was already locally famous in North Texas as a skilled Indian scout and tracker. Goodnight tells of how the Texas Rangers one day got an inexperienced commander from back east. This commander had never fought Native Americans. He had never been out on the Great Plains. Yet he was all puffed up with self-importance and wanted to charge out and take on some Comanches. So he ordered the Rangers westward, and after a couple of days, he spotted his first Indians on a distant hill. Excited, he called Goodnight over and asked him, What kind of Indians are those there? Goodnight paused and said, Antelope. The rookie commander thought Goodnight was lying to him, and he ordered the Rangers to charge the group. Goodnight said, We charged laughing all the way, and successfully routed those antelope without losing a man. Goodnight was always fascinated by the shields the Native Americans carried to stop arrows and bullets. He had always heard that the shields had reams of paper stuffed inside to make them bullet resistant. One day he shot at an Indian retreating into the brush. His target escaped, but he dropped his shield. Goodnight took it back to camp and pried open the buffalo skin cover and wood frame and was shocked to discover an entire book inside. The book was The History of the Roman Empire. Well, it solved the mystery as to why raiding Comanche so often took Bibles and other big, thick books. They wanted the paper to bulletproof their shields, or more accurately, to make them bullet-resistant. Charles Goodnight was indeed a genuine Texas Ranger, but he was also a genuine business entrepreneur. Had he lived a century later, he might have well been someone like Michael Dell or Mark Cuban. His biographer, J. Evitz Haley, said that Goodnight and his partner, Oliver Loving, were the first to drive cattle from Texas to Colorado. But before he started on his venture, everyone told Goodnight it couldn't be done. They told him he couldn't get cattle across the desert-like conditions of West Texas. They told him he would be brutally killed by Apache or Comanches staked out naked on an ant bed to wait for vultures to pick his bones. They told him that even if he did make it, the cattle would be mere skeletons by then, and he'd have nothing to sell. Like all trailblazers, he simply ignored the naysayers. He ignored those who were always around to predict failure. He proved them wrong, and he got rich doing so. He was only 30 years old at the time. Many Texans followed his lead, and the trail became famous as the Goodnight Loving Trail. Loving, by the way, was loosely depicted as Gus McCray in Lonesome Dove. Though Goodnight eventually owned the biggest ranch in Texas, well over a million acres, J. Evitz Haley, Goodnight's foremost biographer, reported that he had this to say about his tumultuous life. All in all, my years on the cattle trail were the happiest I have lived. There were many hardships and dangers, of course, that called on all a man had of endurance and bravery. But when all went well... There was no other life so pleasant. Most of the time, we were solitary adventurers in a great land as fresh and new as a spring morning. And we were free and full of the zest of those who dared. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.